After a month and a half of all students being able to return to class with full capacity, South Korea's education ministry rolled back to partial capacity with both in-person and remote learning system. Cho Jung explains the government's stricter measures for schools. Schools in South Korea are going back to remote learning. Everyone was back in the classroom for about a month, but that plan's been rolled back due to rise in infections among students nationwide. So on Monday until winter break, schools in the greater Seoul area and crowded schools everywhere else were operate two-thirds capacity. Elementary schools for first grade and second grade will be fully in person, but from third to sixth grade, they're only at 75 percent. Middle and high schools will be at two-thirds capacity across the board, and specialized schools are good to go at full capacity. According to health authorities, in the week from December 13th to December 19th, 5,909 students were confirmed infected, a daily average of 844 people. Some parents, though, say they wish they would give more notice about the return to remote learning. I think if the government had made this decision two weeks ago, we would have been more prepared and the situation would have been much more stable. Meanwhile, the Korean government has also toughened measures related to educational programs, urging schools to avoid group activities and hold school events online. To ramp up vaccination campaign for students, health authorities have been putting their full efforts into on-site vaccination at school. However, with low booking rates nationwide, the deadline has been extended until this Friday. Taewon Jong, Arirang News.